Then here's how they line up. Matt and the Latin on Polo, the Peter Goddard on the Suzuki Scotty doing stuff out of three. Trevor Jordan from four and Anthony Gobert from position number five. Martin Craigle on that privately entered Kawasaki out of six. Kirk McCarthy on the Honda from seven. Steve Martin on the Suzuki out of eight. Roy Wesley on the Ducati from nine. And Robert Baird, the Yamaha for position ten. And we're just about set to go. Into the first turn, off from a fairly quiet start. Matthew Millett was looking to get away sharply, and by Christ, he's done just that. Sure has. Can't scare this guy. That track you mentioned earlier, 270 kilometres an hour at the end of the back straight. He's all stiff and sore. Every time he gets a bump on the bike, it hurts him, but he's been fastest in qualifying and leads him through the race. That's Trevor Jordan, his teammate, up in the second, and young Anthony Gobert. Just passing Jordan, Gobert started from position number five on the Honda RC30. Again, a big number of super bikes. Look at Malad, opens up the taps on the ZXR 750. He doesn't like leading at all, does he? <laughs> Fastest, most powerful bike, super bike class at the moment, about 150 horsepower. Top speed exceeding 280 kilometers an hour. He leads them through, Gobert second. They come onto the main straight. Look at this great battle. There's Zach Obert and the Ducati. Peter Goddard in here in the Suzuki and the second of the Works Kawasaki. Boy, it's close. Second, third, fourth, fifth as they come through for the second time. Scotty Dewan's got a good uh, inside run here. Makes it up to third. I think it's Goddard one back behind him. Maladin in a class of his own, but Gobert's doing a fabulous job here on the uh, Winfield Honda. Then Scotty Dewan, one back behind him is Peter Goddard. Martin Craigle is up uh, pretty smartly indeed. Yeah, Gobert's doing a great job on this RC30. So his qualifying time is 1.2 seconds faster than any other RC30 has previously managed at Simmons Place. This bike's about 7 years old. It's got an incredible amount of speed they're getting out of it. It's got two and closing right in on Gobert. They go down into the left-hander. What a battle we do have for the miners at this stage. Well, they come past. Look at that, how quick they are in that corner. There's dust and dirt flying all over the circuit. Very, very twitchy. They try and get traction. Track getting greasier all the time. But my lad is still in control. He leads them through. Scobert and Peter Goddard on the Suzuki. That's a great effort. They are flat strap along here on the uh, ride to the hairpin. Then very uh, hard on the brakes coming into this left-hander. Not a great deal of passing here uh, on the approach to the turn, but once again, they wind them on on the exit here, and they're on full tilt by the time they come to the sweep. So Peter Goddard in start. We go aboard with Seven Sport Race Cam on the Duke County Royal Leslie, tucks down behind a little screen here to try and get maximum speed and minimum wind resistance as he fights it. Look at him battling as it twists and turns through this really quick kick. And isn't it a great sound, the Duke County oh. V-Twin? Fabulous thing, exotic V-Twin, 888cc. Dominated the World Superbike Championship three years out of six. A very effective tool in Roy's hand. Oh, oh, that's a big crack. That's a Kawasaki. I hope that's not Matt Maladin again. That was just off on the uh, yeah. well, run along yeah. the pit straight here. There's the machine. And the rider able to walk away. Robbie and that Baird. is Robbie Baird. Matt Maladin, meanwhile, in control. Sweeps down this back straight once again. Tremendous performance for Matt. That are 54 dead in qualifying and uh, very stiff and sore. Well, stiff and sore as our traffic came off just a little earlier. Fortunately, in that uh, runoff, he, he caught the dirt and uh, didn't make it uh, all the way to the concrete wall. But the bike has taken a very, very heavy hit. Peter Goddard sweeping through there in second position. It's a great effort. Watch the rest of the field sweep through. There's Goddard in second position on the GSXR 750 Suzuki. He was on pole after the first qualifying session, really stunned everyone with the speed aboard the bike. Just got knocked off by Matt Malad toward the end. The Suzuki has sort of top, similar top speed to the Kawasaki in the straight, but just lacks a bit of punch out of the corners, and that's where they're lacking at the moment. Steve Martin, the uh, guy who came off the Suzuki just a little earlier, just able to uh, limp away. That was a very, very heavy hit. But at least he's up and... Uh, on his way to the uh, medical room, just for some observation. Peter Goddard going out after the race leader. Anthony Gobert still running in second. Scotty Dewan is back one spot behind them on the uh, Ducati. Trevor Jordan not too far behind Dewan with Martin Craigle a place further back. There you can see Goddard, the five riders battling for position two through six. 
there you can see the gap. Matt Maladden has opened. This is an 11-lap journey for the heat number one of the Superbikes here today at Simmons Plains. A close-up of the Kawasaki and Matt Maladden. Poetry in motion. Very, very smooth on the motorcycle. There's Peter Goddard still running in second. Anthony Gover trying to fend off Scott Doohan as well. As we take our twos red replay of the incident involving uh, Steve Martin, who came off his machine. Martin has already gone off the bike. There's the bike absolutely destroying itself. Bouncing in the sand trap. Martin has already come to a stop. And the bike just continues on its way to the wall. Fortunately, though, Steve Martin was able to get up and walk away. Not a lot left of the Suzuki GSXR. There is Maladdon, the race leader, coming up on some slower traffic as he prepares for the 180 degree hairpin. That's one of the slower riders. There's a very big superbike race happening somewhere else on the planet today. The Daytona 200 superbike race is being held this weekend. The good news for Aussie bike fans that last year's superbike champion Troy Corsa has got himself on the front row. So we could have some great superbike results from the States uh, later on today. I think so. He won the qualifying race and uh, has been on the pace at Daytona. So it's great to hear that about Troy Corsa. Our race leader, Matthew Maladden, who rode for Kajiva in the World 500 Championship last year. And promised him plenty, delivered very little. And look at the commitment, the level of commitment on this bike. He's just bringing every ounce of performance out of it. The slightest bit prepared by his injuries or the pain he must be in. That is real champion commitment he's showing it here today. He'll be able to walk through the pits at Eastern Creek and they run the uh, the Foster's AGP and say, oh, the problem was the rider, wasn't it? Look at this rider. He's just decimating the opposition. He's got a few scores to settle. The Doesn't lead out to 3.41 seconds. Maladden out of the hairpin. Behind him, of course, Peter Goddard. Then it's Anthony Gobert who's driven, uh, ridden rather well here today, but there's Scotty doing up on the inside of him. Supercross technique there, sliding in like he was on the dirt. He's done a great job. He's improving all the time, Anthony Gobert. Yeah, that he is. That he is a sensational motocross and supercross rider from a very young age. He was thrown in with the big boys after only one year in the 250cc production class. It was a year of adjustment. 1993 and he's come of age in 94. There's your race leader, Matt Maladdon, on the Kawasaki. Really is the landscape of the superbike scene at the moment, Mark. <laughs> Certainly is. Last corner important. coming up now, and I think they have the chequered flag ready to unfurl. And here he comes, Matt Maladden. Another sweep in the Shell Oil superbikes at Simmons Plain. Second is going to go to Pete Goddard. Anthony Gobert gets up for first. Scotty Doohan is the next one through. I think Trevor Jordan was one spot back behind them. Is there anything wrong with Matt Maladden as a rider? No way. He's a winner. Uh, we have young uh, Peter Goddard coming up to shake hands with him at the moment. So Matt Maladden continues his domination of the Shell Oil Superbikes. Let's check them out for you on the Shell race score. Matt Maladden, the winner over Peter Goddard. Anthony Gobert finished back in third. Fourth was Scotty Doohan. And fifth was Trevor Jordan. And it could be 1992 all over again. Matt Maladden, you've just slipped straight back into it. Yeah, it's been good, you know. I had a, um, a great race then. We were, you know, we got out to about four second lead and we held it there sort of to the end. And, uh, you know, I'm sort of lucky to be even riding today. I had a, quite a big accident on Friday and I, I sort of had a bit of a front brake problem and shot off the end of the straight there doing about 250 k's and uh, ended up flying through the air. So it's sort of pretty similar to Superman there for a while. But, uh, you know, everything went well and, uh, you know, I'm just glad that I'm here racing and getting small points for the championship. That was my next question. How's your back? You uh, you said you injured it. Yeah, slightly injured. I think I might have a trapped nerve in there or something. Just every time I go over a bump or something, it feels like someone's sticking a knife in my back. But, you know, it's okay. We'll get on with it. Matt, great to see you back. And we'll also be back here at Simmons Plains in just a second. <laughs> <laughs> 